Howdy folks and welcome to this let's play of Planet Base, episode number 4, which we're playing as Planet Type M, which is basically a moon around a gas giant. So let's actually load our last saved game and let's just pause the recording for a second. Alright, there we go then. So our game is loaded. <coughs> our base is here. We still got some structures under uh, construction here. <coughs> if I look at my supplies, we are pretty okay in metals at the moment. We got a similar okay-ish position in terms of the uh, bioplastics there. I got two biodomes up and running at the moment. <coughs> Both of them in a size large. Got a new cantina built here and I'm gonna slowly populate this with little bits and bobs. So I'm actually gonna put a table in here and so forth as well. Plus of course a mechanism for people to get the drink. Now for that particular anti-meteorite laser, we are waiting for a set of chips to become available. <coughs> Don't have them yet. Just build a new mine to actually get more of my people into there as well. <coughs> Currently I only got two oxygen generators, which seems to be okay for the moment. Let's have a quick look at our statistics. Statistics wise, we are in a good position for the welfare. In terms of water, let's have a brief look at where we are in water. We are relatively okay. We're not running short of it at the moment. Electricity is really up and down, of course, reflecting the fact that we go into the night. The night and there's no energy production. So for the moment, I would say we're okay. <coughs> <coughs> Again, as you can see, we're actually still producing spares. We've got enough spares at the moment. We haven't got a real abundance of them, but we're doing okay. <coughs> 35%, that's pretty decent. Okay, I'm going to trade some of this uh, stuff here, some of the med medicinal plants here. I'm probably going to trade that for <coughs> metals. Just going to have to pay one extra. So let's trade that. Table's being built. The next item to be built is, of course, that TV. <coughs> We're still producing that microchip here, as you can see, or semiconductor, I should really say. <coughs> Once that semiconductor is being built, we can actually build our laser. Currently, we got a slight surplus in terms of uh, energy there, or energy production facilities. I'm going to build yet another one here. Can I build it over here, or should I have to build it over there? That is a large, very large one I've actually built, so I might actually be inclined to build yet another very large one. I'll try to build as close to that one as possible. <coughs> try to keep things within uh, yeah, reason and check. Right, bioplastics is something I need to basically look at. Ooh, look at that. I'm starting to run low on energy here. Let's see where we are in terms of the night that ah, the day starts coming in. So that's also one of the things I need to consider. I need to get some additional energy storage up and running. That might potentially be more important than the actual production there. <coughs> so I'm kind of hoping that the mine here itself will help in terms of... Uh, <coughs> production. Got one guy in the uh, sick bay here. He's waiting for medical supplies, which, yeah, trauma doesn't just heal itself, so we do need to get some medical supplies for him. It looks like we got some people just wandering around. Just kind of to be expected, I guess. So what's the main stumbling block here? <clears throat> I think it's the actual fact that we haven't got enough bioplastics here. Just gonna ah, our laser has been built. So I'm just gonna disable this for a little while. Sorry, I should be disabling the actual uh, semiconductor, not the uh, the spares workshop. <coughs> Still got four spares, luckily. 
to be on this we got 54 which is doable for the moment but ideally you want to basically have a slightly better position so we got a 40 percent chance of intercepting because of course our um, telescope giving us a 40 percent uh, view of anyone's landing I'm just going to be selling off the surplus I got in terms of these. The commission rate is pretty okay. It's not, not really wonderful, but okay. Let's take it as it stands there. <clears throat> so as you can see, because we've got two airlocks here, we're basically using both of them to get the supplies to the trading ship. I'm quite inclined to build yet another uh, landing pad. All right, the energy collector has been built. Good. <clears throat> How much energy is basically being taken by the telescope? It's 1.5. That's not so bad, I'd say. <clears throat> Keep a close eye on actually what's happening here in terms of our other items. Now, 54 is increasing to 56. We've reached standing. Good. Your colony is known by everyone. Good. That's uh, good to know. <coughs> Power storage is running low, it says. Well, the night is almost over, so hopefully we'll be able to make it through the night. storage is critical yep so we're switching from the night over to the day <clears throat> energy production is getting to be positive as you can see and it actually exceeds the utilization at the moment quite decently <clears throat> all right we got enough medical supplies here now at least we're able to produce some which is one of the main points we were looking to get and of course our anti-meteor laser now had also been able to intercept one of them drops to 0% occasionally when there's no one actually sitting in the telescope control. Right, have I got enough material here now to build something again? Now I've got two metals, which, yeah, it's not really great, but okay, it's, it's doable. What I'm going to have to build in here is an extra oxygen production facility. I do want to build that there, or do I want to build it slightly, yeah, let's maybe build it over here medium connection there <coughs> allows me to basically grow the base slightly in further in this direction here as well I intend to build another processing facility over here that's kind of my next uh, goal processing facility could be anywhere here really as long as I'm able to hook it up to all the other buildings here <coughs> that's really the main thing Alright, that's a pretty good commission ratio. I'm going to sell off some of my surplus starch, surplus medicinal plants. Just going to sell that off for money. So that should do for the moment. <coughs> Getting a little bit of extra money in, always welcome. Okay. So starch that we got stored away here. Just need one additional metal here. <clears throat> and that metal will help, of course, in getting that additional oxygen generator up and running. <clears throat> in actual fact, what I might do, I might want to basically put a larger one in there. Would that give me a chance to maybe put some sleeping facilities in there? Possibly. Well, let's let's hold off on building that actually, maybe. Alright. <clears throat> Person is walking around out there, which is fine. 
Let's try to put that dorm in here if we can. Yeah, there we go, a dorm. Good, and that actually now allows me to build that processing plant here. One larger. Okay, and no further connection allowed to the other building there, which is okay. Large connection to the storage there. <clears throat> I probably want to basically prioritize that one there over the uh, the dorm. Still got the other dorm, which is relatively busy at the moment. It's it's not overly busy, but it's it's relatively busy. Mines in two different locations are in use, as you can see. Got a new colonist landing. Oops, solar flare is being detected. Let me give the yellow alert here. <clears throat> Get everybody back into the base. Try to prevent any uh, radiation sickness from occurring. Hmm. Right. Having all of our workers in sight should allow us to focus on production and so forth quite nicely. I do believe I've got some spare ore. <coughs> So that ore, of course, should allow me to process that nicely into metal. I did really want to emphasize the, uh, the metal production later on. So that's 55% commission, which is not bad. Carry a bot, 124. Yeah, I'm not going to go for that one. <coughs> Alright, where's the solar flare? Not seen the solar flare coming in yet. Quite a bit of bioplastic there, there is some metal coming in here as well. We've got sufficient spares lying around at present. Additional colonists coming in. One of the things I do want to start building here is maybe another Radar console. Can I build it there? Yeah, I can. But maybe let's build a gun storage first. Can I do that anywhere here? Not really. Unless I basically prevent myself from being able to build another desk there, I guess. Can I build another desk next to it? Yes, I can. Okay, that's good. Didn't expect to be able to. Have we had the solar flare now? <coughs> I'm still not sure. I'm kind of inclined to just say, well, guys, we've had the solar flare. We must have had it. Armor has been built, which is good. So I'm getting my people back into there. All right, I got a positive uh, balance in terms of medical supplies now, which is good. I'm still prioritizing that processing plant here. I'm running positive balance in terms of food production here as well. Oops. There we go. Let's get our people inside now. Quick, quick, quick. Before we get a radiation sickness of any sort. All right. One person radiated. Unfortunately. Two people radiated. Irradiated, I should maybe say. Three people. Alright, I got doctors helping them out. Hold on for one second. Apologies for the slight interruption there. So let's just carry on where we left off. My uh, son had woken up, so I just had to put him back into sleep. Ooh, one of our people died, unfortunately, because that tunnel being impacted by a meteor. Just because we only got 40% of you there. I think by now the uh, solar flare is over. Yeah, it does look like it, doesn't it? Or let's get everything back up and running. I think we can temporarily shut down one of these uh, over here. I've got 19 spares, as you can see. I want to get this processing plant up and running as quickly as I can. Laser does work. It does need to recharge occasionally, but.
I do eventually need to get an extra desk with, uh, which allows me to man a second uh, telescope. Okay. Food is being consumed here. Let's put another processing uh, facility in there. Maybe two even. Trade ship has landed. 40% commission. It is a carrier bot. Comes up to 112. Gonna buy that with uh, cash uh, as well as some leaves. At the moment I got this one bot only, and I'm assuming that that is a carrier bot, so having a second carrier bot makes my life a bit easier. I will need less people to be able to move goods around. <coughs> Processing facility has been built. I want to get a metal processing facility up and running there quickly, or relatively quickly at least. Plus, of course, the uh, bioplastics as well. <coughs> we should be able to build that dorm already once we get an engineer out there. Build some bunks here. Just need a few at the moment. Don't need this to be uh, entirely full, but I do need some additional capacity for people to sleep. That uh, storage facility is uh, nicely filling up as well. Enabling that one again. Questions, are we in the night or in the day? We are in the day at the moment, so we should see that these are slowly filling up. Yeah, running a positive balance as you can see. Producing 290, we're also consuming 113. So the solar panels are doing their work quite nicely. And of course we have reached the point where we now got more than 60 colonists, which is great. I do need to start considering building an additional water production facility. But maybe first I want to basically build a storage tank. So water storage tank would be quite useful here, I think. I do intend to build an extra mine here as well. Let me just turn the, the ang angle of the camera slightly. Extra mine being built here. Which does also mean I need to get an extra airlock to be able to access that mine. Key reason being I just want to be able to get additional my, uh, ore into the actual facilities I've got. Perfect. Another ship has landed. I don't like the commission ratio on there, so let's send them off again. I could potentially do with an extra biodome, I reckon. Probably want to build one down here, plus maybe some extra storage down here as well. <coughs> first get that mine up and running though. Or better yet, I am probably want to get some extra energy production up and running first. As well as extra energy storage. We're getting through the night quite nicely. Airlock's been built, perfect. <coughs> One more metal required for the mine. And then I do also want to build that extra energy production facility. The one I just mentioned. I'll build another very large one here. Let's 
of the mines being built using 4.5 energy. <clears throat> Water tanks being built. It looks like there's a large amount of space still here available for me to expand my base into. I'll keep an eye on that for the uh, near future. Additional colonists have arrived, so we stand at 63 now. All right, we've got enough uh, mines for the moment to uh, allow us to have uh, all the people we want moving around through there. I think I do want to build an extra couple of tables here as well. Alright. So we got a whole raft of uh, bioplastics becoming available now. A lot more metals as well becoming available. One of the things I don't have yet is a uh, actual bio, sorry, uh, robotics facility. So I think that should be next on my list of things to build. Medium should be a medium connection there as well. So beds, we do seem to have a, a decent number of them. I'll build a few more because these are filling up nicely. Should have enough bioplastics for that. Trading ship has landed, which has got 60% commission ratio, so I'm going to send them off again and say thank you. I do want to build an extra power collector here. I'm going to basically connect it up to both the rings, just in case one of the connectors gets broken, at least we've got a bit of redundancy built in. This is all falling within the actual range of the laser, so that's good. And the laser range actually reaches quite nicely towards the south here as well. Power storage is going to be low, it says. A good thing it is actually starting to be day, so we should see additional generation of power facilities or power storage facilities coming online soonish. Anyways, good time for us to call it a day. So, again, I'd say thanks again for joining me, and hopefully, I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.